later, Astro swam under the Golden Gate Bridge into the San Francisco Bay. He climbed onto a sandy beach in someone's backyard, not far from the Marine Mammal Center. Once again, the people from the center captured Astro and drove him back to his pen. He seemed happy to be back, but his friends were worried. The longer Astro stayed out of the ocean, the harder it would be for him to live in the wild. After a few days, Astro's friends took him to another island. They hoped he would not return to any beaches with people. But Astro had other plans. Just three days later, he swam under the Golden Gate Bridge into the San Francisco Bay. Just like a dog, he had found his way back. This time, he spotted a group of children and their parents on a field next to a school. The people were holding a walkathon to raise money for the school. Astro flopped out of the water and onto the field. He wanted to join in the fun too. He scooted around the orange cones in the grassy field. He made it all the way around one lap. Everyone cheered for Astro. But the people also knew Astro needed to return to the ocean. They tried to coax him towards the bay by pretending their buckets were full of food and then swinging the buckets in front of him. Astro didn't leave. He just stayed in the parking lot. The people called the Marine Mammal Center. Once again, the volunteers rescued Astro and returned him to his pen and saltwater tank. His friends at the Marine Ma Mammal Center were sad, very sad. They realized that Astro could not live in the ocean. He had been too young when rescued and had attached himself to people in, instead of a stellar sea lions. He would just keep returning to places with people. He could not stay at the Marine Mammal Center any longer because it is an animal hospital not a place to live. Astro's friends made phone calls to find him a new home. His friends at the center were thrilled when the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut said Astro could go there. Astro's first stop was a six month stay at the Long Marine Lab at the University of California in Santa Cruz. Since stellar sea lions are a threatened species, the scientists at the lab studied Astro to learn how to protect, how to help protect them. They learned Astro's hearing and looked at how quickly he processed his food. Astro needed to learn to follow directions. The trainers used a training method called bridge and target. When Astro learned to touch the trainer's fist, the target, with his nose, the trainer would say, good, the bridge. Astro connected the good with the right behavior. When the trainer would teach him to follow other directions, wanting to please <coughs> the trainers, Astro learned quickly. Astro was known for his fun personality and liked to greet school children who visited the Long Marine Lab. He loved playing with his toys and took them into his kennel when he slept. Astro flew in an airplane all the way across the United States from California to Connecticut. Although his friends at the Marine Mammal Center and the Long Marine Laboratory wish that Astro could have returned to the ocean, they are very happy that he has such a wonderful new home. If you're ever in Mystic, Connecticut, be sure to visit him. The end.